Hi guys, welcome to Till Death. It's Dr. Ross. And it's your man Kill. Um, today, <laughs> one of my favorite movies. Um, again, we your favorite comedian. Shout out goes. to all our new followers. Thank you for all the page views and the questions and everything. We gotta keep shouting out WHUR. Oh I see yes, that helped out. Yes, a thank lot. you WHUR and HUR Voices. Right. The serious, the serious radio. Excellent. Channel forty one. They need subscribers. One forty one. One forty one. One forty one. One forty one. They need subscribers, so y'all need to subscribe. It's the first historically black college and university that's on XM Radio. I think so. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. definitely one forty one. Awesome. Yeah. So we gotta awesome. support that. So go on, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's um, Howard University's radio station. Right. One of my favorite comedians. Well, my favorite comedian is Chris Rock. And I think he, um, in his comedy and his stand-up, he talks about... Chris Rock, can you come on our show? Please. Jeez. Talks about marriage, and even though it's in joking, I, I, it's 100% true. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite movies is I Think I Love My Wife. Now... Pray tell why, might I ask? I know a lot of women who hate this movie. And I think y'all hate it because it holds up a mirror to wives across America and I don't think y'all like what y'all saw. A lot of women be fronting, oh no, I just thought it was going to be funnier. No, y'all didn't. Y'all don't like it because it's holding up a mirror of what women are doing wrong. Thank you, my friends. Yeah, I know. But it is what it is. <laughs> and we use this movie in a lot of our sessions because it is a blueprint for what goes wrong in a lot of marriage. So I'm going to be taking a couple of webcasts to be able to chop it up about things that I saw in watching the movie, me and Roz watching it, and understanding these are where some things went wrong in the movie. So first of all, let me say, I don't hate the movie. I thought the, um, I thought the movie was interesting and I could see um, from the male perspective how the perspective of a wife can be viewed. Um, what I do think is that it didn't show like the female perspective. So maybe well, there needs cool. to be. I think I love my. I wife. know, I know, but it didn't give her any redeeming qualities at the end. Okay. And I, I, I to me, I think that. I think it gave her redeeming qualities because he said, I have a beautiful wife. She's a great mother. She does all these things, you know? So I think those are redeeming qualities. He didn't throw under the bus. He didn't say my wife can't cook. She's a horrible mother. He gave her great qualities. But my number one thing from the beginning of the movie was they're not yeah, having didn't sex. didn't stop him though from- Hold tight, okay. Okay. we're gonna just all stay right. in the concept. Hey, okay. They're not so, having sex. They're okay. not having sex. Now, I thought she was crazy. I guess because I like sex. So okay. I thought she was crazy to be withholding, but I do understand that, you know, after she's been at work, after she's dealt with the kids, after she's taking care of the home, then maybe she is tired. So what I would say to that, if that is a situation that you may be having in your home, then you better start playing in sex because you don't want your husband going out seeing all these available women and coming home to no fun. Right. So my thing is, what kills me is, why don't women want to have sex in their marriage? And I know we've been through this numerous times. It's a whole slew of different things and you can fill in the blank for whatever the excuse is for this month, this season, this year. <laughs> and that's really what it is. You could call it a reason or an excuse. The moral to the story is, if you want to have a successful marriage, you have to have sex. And not just sex, but good sex. Making sure both people are satisfied. That's just I that. Agree. And what I don't get is, is, and I think a lot of times, and not to say, I, I know men, we do this too to some extent, but, and, it, and it's going back to my employer of in 2012, we're not doing this no more. Because women, y'all can go on strike. And what happens is y'all stop being our wives and you turn into our mothers. Ooh. And you say, you know what? He didn't do X, Y, and Z. Mm. He's on punishment. Who the hell are you what? to put me on punishment? <laughs> no, no. real talk. Who, I hear you. Who are you to say, you know what? I hear you. I, you are on punishment. You got real mad, huh? No, I'm just saying because I'm. it's the arrogance. I think that some not all, that some women have to be that arrogant to say, you know what, I am not going to do. Because, fill in the blank, but I am not going to do. 
I can't be that arrogant and say, I am not going to pay the bills this month. Why? Because that's stupid. <laughs> that's dumb. I'm not trying to call women who do this stupid and dumb. I'm just giving oh you an God. analogy. I, if I don't pay my bills, what are you going to call me? I don't know this woman. No, you're going to call me dumb. If you came over yeah, today and said, if right. You pay your bills, that's if you stupid. said, kill, why is there no electricity on? Because yeah. I ain't pay my bills. I'm on strike. You would call me <laughs> dumb. Because there is a consequence for not Wait a paying minute. my bills. What happened? On is, strike with the family? <laughs> hey. So now you make the family suffer. I'm Everybody got to suffer. I'm suffering if I ain't getting none. So at the end so of the she. day, listen to what I'm saying. Then then why put me on punishment if you're suffering See, that's too? what I'm saying. I don't know that woman. Oh, okay. Well, you don't know that woman. Yeah, I don't woman. know. I mean, but I, there are I don't know women that woman. who have but, said, because think about are, some of yeah. the questions that we get. There Go are kill. women that do you that. You're always telling us to have sex with him, but what if he didn't help with the laundry? And what if he didn't help with this? And what if? So it's always a what if. So it's always, I'd give it to him if, but it's always a, a, another word in there with I would give it to him, but fill in the blank. With women, it's just fill in the blank with y'all because it's no, just fill in the that, blank. That, there may so, be some all I'm saying issues is that, that may then you need to talk about those that issues. Not happen. All I'm saying is that the punishment factor. Yeah, I, I, I that agree needs with you. I to stop. Yeah, there should I, be. It does. You are my wife. And, and this is the same thing for, for men, because I'm sure some women out there who want some and they ain't getting. So this whole punishment notion of where you made me mad, so you're not getting any. And that's that, crazy. That's stupid. I agree. With that's that's crazy. dumb. And then you're going to turn around and be like, well, why do you have sex with her? That's even a dumber question. Yeah. Like, I I don't because I'm going to get the emails. Why are you calling women dumb? But I'm just saying. No, I think you said the question is dumb. Yeah, right. I said the question the is dumb. Not y'all are dumb. Yeah, but that's what it is. Dumb. These are dumb questions. You know, that's like saying, well, I didn't cook you dinner. Why'd you go to Chick-fil-A? Right. That's literally what you're saying. Right. I'm not going to cook for you. And then getting mad when he says, okay, well, I'm going to KFC. Yeah. If you don't want to cook for me, I got to eat somewhere. Right. Uh, I got to eat somehow. And the thing is, is that women, you know, like Chris Rock said, you know your man. You know you have a freaky, I need a blowjob every 20 minutes, husband. Yeah, sorry, head, blowjob, whatever. Oral every twenty Oral sex. Every 20 minutes. Sorry, mom. You can't, you can't not get his dude no oral sex for two months and expect him to see straight. You can't, <laughs> you can't send that man out on the highway. You're risking wait, people's wait, lives wait, out there. Wait. So oral sex, no oral sex equates to blindness? <laughs> it might. <laughs> It might. You risking people's lives out there being selfish because he did something to you. Because he ain't he ain't want to listen to your story. Really? Now really can't blind it, it can. It can lead to blurred vision. I get your point, though. That, I, I see what, all, all I'm saying is... I see what you're trying you to say. You know your man. You know what your man needs. So at the oh. end of the day, you can feed your man or Somebody someone else, else can will. feed your man. And it, even in the movie, Chris Rock went on to say, I don't know how my wife doesn't have sex with me, but then sends me out into this world with all these other beautiful women. Hmm. I, I just, and, and, and it's the same thing. I don't understand that. You know, if you know that your husband has a commute going into any major city, if it's going into DC or y'all live in the suburbs and he's going into downtown Philly or y'all live in... Mount Vernon or New Rochelle and he's going into New York City or Jersey to New York. I mean, just imagine how many attractive women he's going to see on the bus, on the train, at his job, at lunch, and all these things. And you want him to keep his eyes on the prize, right? You want him, you want him to keep his eyes straight ahead and just focus on what he has to do at work. But if he ain't getting none, he ain't seen you in nothing sexy, and here comes this chick walking with a skirt, that's like an inch above her butt, below her butt, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. You don't want him to look, right? It, it, I just, I don't understand that. So, Roz, help me. Help me to break this down. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. Well, you're going to be upset with my answer. because okay. I'm upset with most women's answers, so it's okay. <laughs> We've had this conversation numerous times, but I know you see it as just an excuse sometimes or just 
whatever it is may be for the woman or whatever. Again, in my close circle of friends, I don't know this girl that doesn't want to have sex. And I say all the time, women want to have sex just as much as men. We just may not want to have it with our husbands. And okay. the and reason for that is, and then let me clarify uh -huh. that so people will be like, well, like, you don't want to have sex with your husband. The reason for that is because there has there is something underlying, some type of emotional distress underlying that is keeping that person from not wanting to connect with their significant other. And that's good. And, and guess what? I don't look at that as an excuse. I look oh. at that as a reason. Okay. Reason excuse is anything that really is different. But I just want to say that to kind of be cool. Uh, yeah, I know. You're but to get back in the good graces of the women. But ain't fooling about the, the 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 point is is that if there's something underlying, that has it to has be to dealt be dealt with. with. Because at the end of the day, but you got to be receptive to hear it. I understand that, but this is the thing. I'm a very black and white person, and I mm -hmm. think what's wrong with marriage is it's too many colors, too many rainbow people out there. It's black and white. I'm not have. I'm not getting it. No, 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 let's keep moving. Okay. I'm not getting it. Okay. That's the moral to the story. Okay. I need to get some. So, regardless of the fact that I know you're So, how do you I, get Right. To get I some. understand your standpoint of women want to have sex just as much as men, just not with you. It, I don't care. I'm not getting none. That's the moral of the story for. But you should care why your wife doesn't want to. No, be no, no, with no, no. You. I understand that. But what I'm saying is that then we need to talk. We need to talk right. and that needs to be worked out. Absolutely. Because the wife needs to work some things out in her head too because at the end of the day, it can be, I don't want to cook because fill in the blank. But at oh, the end a, of the day... That, that was the day of your rods. No, that wasn't a knock at you. I'm just saying in general. I'm using cooking mm -hmm. to the analogy of sex. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to cook for whatever reason, then there's still... I know. But there still needs to be something done. But he still be. has to eat. So yeah, that's all I'm saying is that it can be for an underlying reason. But if there are all these women who want to have sex, just not with their husbands. So what if the underlying reason is he don't know what he's doing? Then you know what? Are you receptive enough to take that? Now, I'll tell you this. <laughs> After being married for so many years, mm -hmm. I would say I am. Okay, but not in the beginning. In the beginning, I think, and it's funny because me and T just had this conversation because I was saying Ooh, that, not like that, <laughs> we were talking about the movie um, Friends with Benefits with Justin Timberlake. Did you see that? And, and some little white girl. But the moral was <laughs> they were just going to be friends and they just going to have sex. And that was it. So, Oh, yes, I did see that. How am yeah. I racist? Calling somebody a white girl? She's white. I can't. Even. So, correct you. Right. So the first time they had sex, he's trying to do stuff to her. And she's like, no, like this and like that. And they're they're moving each other like pieces. And I was like, yo, maybe sex would be better in marriage if we did that. You know, because at the end of the day, both people are coming in thinking, I know what I'm doing or I know what yeah, to do to please and, a woman. And, maybe and everybody is different. Yeah. And you and women may not want to hurt the ego by saying, no, do it like this. And men don't want to. So. I just think that kind of way of doing it would work. I think the bigger question is this. You can tell me I'm the worst shot you've had in your life. My response to you is going to be, well, tell me how to get better. Now, here's where it comes back to the woman. I don't think the average woman she knows what gets her off. She doesn't. Because the average woman has is, is basing her pleasure off of what a man gives her. Yes. So, see... You have to be able to tell me how I can. You want me to be politically correct? Yeah. You want me to get you to orgasm. You have to tell me how to be able to do that. But if you don't know how to make yourself orgasm, you can't tell me to go to Miami and you don't know how to get to Miami. Okay. So it can't I just agree be. With it, you. it can't be. And see, for men, it's usually different. If the man is saying sex is whack, well, how can I get better? Here you go. Here's, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> There's the five <laughs> things you can do right there. See, there is, with women, everything is so complicated. It's so deep. It's like, man, oh, what can we do? While you was talking, if you do those five <laughs> things right there, we're good. Sex is better. 
But for y'all, then now y'all got to go in the room and get some toys and try to figure yourselves out, which could take forever. That's true. But you, you know. can't fault us for that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not faulting you for that. And I'm I, th- just, I think you should. But but I think you should participate in the process. I agree, too. I agree. Because it's true. Women, I mean, at a young age, we hear, don't let anyone see your butterfly, your pocketbook, or whatever name that we have for our vagina. Um, and you spend... A good portion of your life you know keeping it private and so most women don't even know what their and even if you, vaginas even look like even if you would jump off and you've been banging dudes for days yeah, you may, you have, may you not may have even been never enjoying the sex came. so at yeah. the end of the day you know and for most and men and here's the truth a woman can give us up an orgasm much quicker than a man can okay and see at the end of the day but it's very hard to tell you how because well, you it's got, just kind of. Well, you got less in on. Tr- Look, this it's is a, a it's a it's different equipment. Well, then we need to get some equipment and get to work. You know all, all I'm saying, all I'm it's saying crazy. is, at the end of the day, these are the conversations that need to be had. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you can't tell me I'm the worst husband ever, and not tell me how I can get better. That's throwing me under the bus. And I can't tell you you're the worst wife. Well, what can I do better? I don't know. You know. It's my job to know. If I'm gonna throw right. if I'm gonna throw the stone at you and tell you you're not up to par, True. the least I can do is be able to tell you some guidelines. Yeah, you know, this is what you know, this is how you can make it better. So I'm glad you asked, because when we come back, I'm gonna tell you brothers how to make it better. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't be like that. And again, all of this is based off of Chris Rocks, I think I love my wife. We were talking about why the wife didn't want to have sex. We don't know why, but in the movie, she just didn't want to have sex. Speculate. And Rise is gonna speculate why when we come back. And I've got some other topics from the movie that we're gonna talk about. So keep it locked till death and info.com. <laughs> That's cute. This is Dr. Rise. <laughs> Man, I never got the dark man. 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 Never got the dark man.